and now toilet paper in 90 seconds or less. Start the timer, here we go. By the 14th century, the Chinese were already manufacturing millions of sheets of toilet paper. Elsewhere, wealthy people would use wool, lace, or hemp, while the not-so-wealthy used items like leaves, stones, moss, seashells, corn cobs, or just their hands. Joseph Gaiety is credited with being the inventor of the modern commercially available toilet paper in 1857. Although it wasn't on a roll yet, it came in packages of 500 sheets for 50 cents and were marketed as medicated paper for the water closet. Seth Wheeler of Albany, New York, obtained the earliest U.S. patents for toilet paper rolls and dispensers. A lot of people point to this patent as the reason over the top is the correct way, but there were earlier patents that show the underneath method. Either way, it's going to be a personal choice, but here are the arguments for both. Over the top helps reduce the risk of accidentally brushing your hand against the wall, spreading germs. Underneath will prevent a child or pet from easily being able to unravel the roll, although not completely prevent that. However, multiple studies about toilet paper orientation come back with about 70% of people saying that they prefer over the top. Now, here are some random facts you probably don't know about toilet paper. Up until the 1930s, toilet paper could cause splinters. This was a selling point of Northern Tissue Company as they claimed theirs was splinter-free. The vast majority of the planet still doesn't use toilet paper. Only about 30% of the population does. And there are claims that you couldn't call it toilet paper in advertisements up until 1975. You had to call it bathroom tissue, but these ads show that that claim is most likely bogus. Boom, nailed it. If you like this content, please like and subscribe.